All right, welcome. I'm Richard Hines, known as America's Dog Trainer. Today, we're gonna go through some new things that Michael from France, if you've been following, I'm trying to take these pair of Dutch Shepherd puppies from very young all the way through the obedience protection process. So, and all this is being done through Skype. I'm in Miami, Michael's in France, and we've been doing all of this through Skype. So, the last video I showed you what he's up to in his obedience game. Shield! 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 Yes! Front! Finish! Front! Center! Front! Shield, front, center, front, yes, good. Here, finish, front, finish, front, shield, shield. Yes, good. And today, we're gonna go over some of the new pieces that he's working on. Now, before I even start, <laughs> let me just say, Michael has never trained a dog in his life. Knows nothing about dogs until we started doing our Skype sessions. So, I, I mean, it's amazing that through Skype only, a few times a week, what he's been able to do and accomplish with these two puppies. Anybody who knows anything about dog training will appreciate the high level of training that this guy has brought these two puppies to. I mean, their bite work is phenomenal. Their control game is stunning I mean so for a guy with no dog experience at all right zero to be able to through Skype take these two puppies to the levels that we're getting them to is remarkable <laughs> if you know anything about dog training and high-level dog training it, it's amazing so today the two new pieces that we're putting together is walking backwards without barking Reverse. yes good okay so in previous videos we taught the dogs how to bark at an object while Michael moves all over the place. Okay, that was setting them up for our future protection skills. The toy would be the agitator, the attacker. So we're building all our skills young, right? So that when we get to a protection decoy soon down the road, everything in protection is going to be built already. 
Now we just got to put the decoy in there and let the puppies attack him. <laughs> so all our high level skills are going to be built already as a young puppy so that when we get to that, we're good to go quick. So that was the first version. This version, we're doing it without talking. So we're just having him flow with the dogs and teaching the puppies more skill, right, of a different type that goes along with the toy barking, okay? So the difference with this one, it's follow the body, follow the body, but no talking. Yes, good. And you can do this one as a trick, just to play around with your dogs. It's just a fun thing, but it is giving us more skill to that rear end walking and moving and holding the owner's body. Okay, because again, in my protection system, it's about real life, real world. Anything can happen to you at any time. And very few protection dogs know how to move and concentrate when they're in an aggressive state of mind. So me, I am gung-ho, full on, with total control and young. Having dogs, puppies, be able to split themselves, right? When most dogs go into aggression, you see this with police dogs all the time, they go into aggressive state of mind, you cannot control them, right? They go for the attack, can't call them off. It's just chaos on a leash, right? I don't want any of that in my systems. I want total, total control, elite level protection dogs, okay? So meaning we have focus on the mind, right? So when we set them into aggressive states, they will tear themselves into listening to what we're telling them, holding body, language, whatever it is at that moment, and also stay focused on a defensive, aggressive state of mind, okay? very difficult to get the two to mesh together, okay? So, me, I emphasize this, and this is all I care about. The only in my system protection dogs can be this way. And that's why they're at the top of the food chain, right? They're the top of the game because of being able to split them. Total control on an aggressive state of mind, okay? So, this backwards walking that we're doing is just adding more structure, more muscle memory, right, to our protection game when we get to it. Okay, so the more exercises that we do with this, anything ever happens to you in life, you can move all over the place, get away, move away, and that dog is gonna be all over you and not get lost. That's all. In the moment and not know what to do with themselves or start pulling you forward when you're trying to get away, which is what happens when you have a protection dog that's out of control, right? That is on a leash, right? And you want to get away but the dog won't let you because he's pulling forward so hard to get the attack, right? That now you can't even get away. There's no control. There's no mental discipline. It's just chaos, okay? And of course, if we want to send the dog at any moment, we'll send him, right? So in my system, we have everything available at all times. Everything is covered, right? In my system, I've made sure that anything that can happen, I have covered. Okay, so this backwards walking game is just enhancing, right, the great game that we already have 
with the barking at the toy game following the body. Now with the walking backwards, we first start with a nice, clean, just straight back walking. Reverse. Yes, good. Reverse. Yes, good. Next step, we want to add a little bit of a turn to come back the other direction. Reverse. And then we start throwing things, you know, of all sorts of turns and movements all over the place. Yes, good. Reverse. Yes, good. To get the dog really fluent, right, that any movement can happen at any time. So, again, just building the complexity of this game to a level that most people will never be at, will never be able to reach. Okay, also, we're working on position changes sits or sit down and stand Let's straight seats yes okay so we have the dogs on the couch we're I'm teaching Michael how to get the dogs to change their positions so they already have sitting down but this is the first time we're doing stand straight Let's straight. Yes. So adding that into the mix now makes things a little complicated because stand is a little tricky to do well. So, but here you'll see Michael's just starting this game and they're doing really well and he just started it like days ago. So he's, he has them on a couch to keep them in place and you'll see we do stands he's saying stay which is german to stand up he's using german commands and you'll see we're alternating from a sit position to a stand stay stay yes down positions to a stand putz stay yes putz stay yes and then we're mixing it up to throw different commands and throw that stay in there. So this way, eventually we'll just start throwing things at the dogs from a distance and they'll just sit, stand, down, sit, stand, right? So this way we just change up all those things. Cuts, stay, yes. Cuts, <laughs> seats, <laughs> stay, yes. Seats, cuts. Seats, stay, putz. Stay, putz. Stay, seats, yes. Putz, seats, putz, stay, yes. It's not easy to do well, right? Well, with speed and, and precision on the movements. So another complicated exercise that Michael's being taught and again this is just a day or two in 
and already they have the understanding of standing up when they're told on the word. So now it's just piecing these things together. So I mean, within days to a week, these dogs are going to have that combo, I mean, perfectly precisioned. So I mean, again, another fantastic job by him with something that's a, a little complex on how to get the stand itself, right? The stand itself makes people cry. Doing a good down for most people is very difficult. So putting all of the three pieces together to do them all is not an easy job because the dog has to learn language and take the body help away eventually and just sit down, stand, right? But no moving body, no moving hands, no gestures, no help. And he's almost there, right? So, I mean, he's already a few days in and almost there. So, I mean, these are very complicated pieces. And, I mean, he's doing fantastic with all the complex things I'm giving him. Got to give this guy a lot of credit. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time. And they're only eight months old. And we have a lot of stuff left to do. We haven't even gotten to our hardcore protection game yet. And these two are already elite status, right? Very few dogs can say that in the world. So, amazing job by Michael. Okay, so there you have it. That's today's video. So I'll give you updates. I'll keep doing little updates for people who care, <laughs> uh, who like to see high level things. So I'm Richard Hines. Until next time, America's Dog Trainer.